Hello, I'm Bob Dole, and for the past 14 years, I've been greeting veterans from all over the country at the World War II Memorial. These are veterans of not many left of World War II, but of Vietnam and Iraq and Afghanistan and Korea, and I've had a great time visiting with all these veterans. Of course, now it's been suspended because of the pandemic. But after this is over, Honor Flight will be up and running. In the meantime, I want to thank all the veterans for their distinguished service. God bless you. Hi, I'm Joe Bonzel with the Oak Ridge Boys. I am honored to be an ambassador for Honor Flight. It's been a rough year, a rough year for us, a rough year for our many wonderful veterans out there, our World War II guys, our Korean veterans, our Vietnam guys. I know a lot of you were looking forward to an honor flight this past year, and it didn't happen because of the COVID. Well, we're here to tell you that through our new Operation Reassurance Program, we want you to know that you have not been forgotten. Not at all. Sometime in 2021, honor flight will be kicking into gear again, and you'll have your honor day. God bless you all. God bless America. Patriotism runs deep at Southwest Airlines, and we hold our active duty service members and military veterans in the highest regard. As the official airline of Honor Flight, it's been our sincere pleasure to play a role in fulfilling Honor Flight's important journeys for our nation's heroes. And I know that unfortunately, many of you had your Honor Flight canceled in 2020, which I'm sure was a disappointment. And please know your special trip is coming soon. And when it does, Southwest will be ready to welcome you on board for an incredible experience worthy of your selfless service. In the meantime, on behalf of every one of our Southwest Airlines employees, we thank you. We thank you for your service and your sacrifice, your bravery, and your dedication to our country. We can't wait to say welcome home to each of you in 2021. And until then, we salute you. Hello, this is Lee Greenwood. Because my father served in World War II and the Merchant Marine, I've been aware for many years of the honor flights that take our veterans to the memorials in Washington, D.C. We are indeed grateful to the men and women, particularly those who served in the Korean War and the Vietnam War for their service. We want to let you know as soon as it's safe, you will be asked to join one of these honor flights. Thank you for your service to our country, and we will never forget you. Hi, Joe Montaigne here, reaching out to all your World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War veterans, letting you know that the honor flights that you were looking forward to here in 2020, of course, had to be postponed due to COVID circumstances, but they are being rescheduled, and as soon as it's safe, they will happen. So I just want to say, welcome home, and thank you again for your service to this country. Hey, what's going on everybody? Andre Flewellen, former defensive tackle for the Lions, and I want to talk to you about something special that I did last year. I had the honor and privilege to be a guardian on an honor flight. All right, let me tell you what this honor flight is. An honor flight is where Vietnam, World War II, and Korean War veterans go to all the monuments in Washington, D.C. It is a chartered flight just for them, and I was able to be a guardian for a Vietnam veteran. All right, it was one of the most special, one of the most amazing things that I've ever experienced in my life to see these veterans literally be able to relive and retell their stories that they may not have told in years. And as special as that was, I mean, I hate to say that honor flights this year have been postponed. All right, and, and look, you as a veteran and veterans out there, you deserve to have your stories told and to be able to tell them on your own time. I get that, right? And it's just unfortunate because of the circumstances, because of 2020, right? That you may not be able to tell those stories on that honor flight and experience that in that way. But I want to tell you this. When things open back up and when these honor flights are taken off again, I promise you, I'll be on the first thing smoking out there with you because I want to do my service to you. And that is to allow you to tell your stories to us. 
So I may not be able to serve in the capacity that you did. I mean, you laid it all on the line for me. But at the same time, I want to be able to serve you by being a listening ear and an open heart. So to all my veterans, I honor you. And I can't wait till we're able to do another honor flight together. Andre Fluello, love and blessings. Hi, this is Corey Sluster, former fullback for the Detroit Lions. Last November, I served as a guardian on an honor flight that saw firsthand the impact that organization has on those who have served. Ensuring that our veterans are not forgotten and given a welcome home that they deserve was top priority. I know for many of you, this year was going to be your chance to have this once in a lifetime experience. But I also know you are resilient and that as soon as it is safe to do so, the Honor Flight Network will be sure to get you to DC for the honor you deserve. Please know we are thinking of you and you always have a friend in the Detroit Lions. Hello, Dina Martin here. And I'm here today to send a message to the thousands of veterans who had their honor flights postponed. We promise you that your communities and your country will never forget you. And as soon as possible, we're going to start those honor flights again that will take you to our Veterans Memorials in Washington, D.C. I'm talking to all of our veterans from World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, wherever and whenever you served. God bless you, all of you. And thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. And most importantly, welcome home. Hello, I'm Ben Minicucci. I'm president of Alaska Airlines and a proud 14-year veteran of the Canadian Armed Forces. We have been doing honor flights for almost eight years. We've done about 80 honor flights and carried over 4,000 veterans, and we are so proud to do that. Our employees are so proud. Carrying veterans to D.C. where they can visit those memorials that are dedicated to you, to those who served, and to the many of those who sacrificed their lives. It is a very special privilege for us to do that for you. Our employees are so, so proud, and we have a beautiful airplane that's painted in a military livery, and it's called Honoring Those Who Serve. I think it's one of the most beautiful airplanes in our fleet, and most of our employees believe that. But we look forward to uh, putting you on that airplane soon and taking you to D.C. where we can start these honor flights again. So until then, uh, thank you. Thank you for all you've done, and we look forward to seeing you and thanking you in person. Hi, I'm Judy Woodruff of the PBS NewsHour. As the daughter of a World War II veteran, I am thrilled to offer my thanks and heartfelt support to all the veterans of World War II, of the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and every conflict in which American service men and women have put their lives on the line. Those of us who live in Washington, D.C. are especially aware of the sacrifices you've made because of how often we pass by these great memorials that have been built in this city in your honor. I want you to know, and I don't want you to ever forget how much your sacrifice means to each and every one of us. We are endlessly grateful for what you've done for our country. Thank you. Hi, I'm here to thank all our veterans for their sacrifice. You know, our honor flights are postponed in the wake of the virus, but we haven't forgotten yet. This is the land of the free in the home of the brave. And we know we are only free because you were so brave in your service. America built those monuments in Washington for you. And our honor flights take you there to see in person those uh, permanent testimonies to our nation's gratitude. We're gonna start flying right after the virus clears. I hope that happens real soon. In the meantime, you all take good care. Good day, everybody. I'm General Frank McKenzie, the Commander of United States Central Command. On behalf of the service men and women in U.S. Central Command, I want to thank all of our World War II, Korean conflict, and Vietnam War veterans for their sacrifices to our nation. Your service has paved the way for me and everyone with whom I serve. For that, we are all grateful. My hope is that your eventual trip to our nation's capital will happen soon, and it will be a safe and a positive experience. Again, thanks for all that you do. Hello, I'm Greta Van Susteren from Full Court Press, and nothing makes me happier than to have this privilege and honor to thank you for your service in the United States military. Like all Americans, I'm immensely grateful for your years of service and your bravery. 
I regret you couldn't get an honor flight this year, but the people of this nation, they have not forgotten what you have done for us. We owe you a giant thanks because you're responsible for our freedom. So today, I salute you, we salute you. I'm Bill Schrader, former wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers, and it was my honor to be a part of the Stars and Stripes Honor Flight of Champions last year. Uh, we celebrated the day with uh, Packers legends, Bucks and Brewers, and got to visit the memorials of the Vietnam War, the Air Force, World War II, Iwo Jima, uh, Korean War, and the Lincoln Memorial. We also got to visit the Arlington Cemetery and see the amazing changing of the guards. Uh, it was my honor to spend the day with these men and women who served our country and for sacrificing so much of their lives to give us the freedom that we have. And uh, I think the greatest part of the day was, was hearing their stories and listening to these men and women throughout the day, but also when we got to come home and the celebration that all the fans had with all these veterans. So if you have a chance, please visit the the men and women when they come home or have a chance to get on this flight. Thank you very much. Well, hello everybody. My name is Gary Wetzel. I'm a Vietnam combat veteran and I also hold the Congressional Medal of Honor. But when I say that, I wore that medal for everybody. And we have hubs throughout the United States for the honor flight. So let's uh, let's look into this. Let's donate some money if we can, and say thank you. God bless all of our veterans, him and her. Hi, I'm Bill Wilson, a retired Air Force veteran, and the chairman and president elect for the Honor Flight Network. For all the men and women that have served around the world, that made possible the freedoms that we enjoy, to their families who also serve, who also sacrifice. Thank you all, each and every one of you, so very much. You know, Honor Flight has been with us since 2005. And in that time, we have taken about 225,000 veterans on an all expense paid trip to see their memorials in Washington, D.C. Those veterans are energized when they go. They, they tell you that it's the best day of their life. They tell you that they've had an opportunity to thank those that didn't come home, the people that they call the real heroes. The opportunity for camaraderie, the opportunity for people in our country to shake their hands and clap for them and applaud for them, thank them for their service. There's no other day like it. And you know, unfortunately, COVID has made it impossible for us to fly in 2020. But we're gonna come back strong in 2021. And the staff and the hubs are actively preparing to fly when it is safe to do so. And you can help. You can sign up veterans that have yet to go on an honor flight trip. You can be a guardian. Sign up to go with one of our veterans and enjoy that day. I guarantee you it'll be one of the best days of your life. Or donate to a local hub or donate to the national program so that we can continue this wonderful work throughout our nation. And I tell you, I can assure you, I can assure each and every one of you that Honor Flight is alive and well, that our program is, is out there making it happen so that we can fly safely, so that we can thank each and every veteran by taking them to DC for the service that made possible the freedoms that we all enjoy today. I want you to stay safe and God bless you all and thank you so very much.